hello I am back day 18 of my challenge um, I'm gonna do mason jars I love mason jars and um, I'm gonna decorate and make them little shaker cards now um, I'm gonna give you the supplies and then I want to show you some um, items that I bought just a few from the Dollar Tree so we're gonna need a pattern now uh, I tried to look on Pinterest for, um, okay, I forgot to set my timer, <laughs> sorry, okay, there you go, all right, um, now I forgot what I was, what I was saying, okay, well anyway, um, I love Mason, oh, I was going to print off one off of Pinterest, a silhouette of a mason jar or a mason jar. Well, I don't know what's going on with my printer, but I, I couldn't reduce it down, so I just hand sketched a mason jar. So you need a pattern, so you can get it off of Pinterest. You're going to need scrapbooking paper. I also use ledger paper. You're going to need some trim, some string, decorative string, and I have some pom-pom balls. They were a bag at the Dollar Tree and it was all different red, green, and white pom-pom balls. And I took the small ones out. And I got this today from the Dollar Tree, which I'd like to show you. It's pretty buttons, all different sizes and colors. I really like those and I'm gonna use that. And I shouldn't, yes, I shouldn't have bought this, but they have fabric now and um, their art, Arts and crafts section is really getting really good. So um, the writing's too small on here. I can't tell what size size it is. So I'm going to cut one open and see what. Oops! Did I just cut my material? Okay. I just want to see what size it is. It's probably a fat quarter, I would think, but I'm not sure. What you got? Oh. Oh, it's a nice square. I don't think that's a fat quarter. Um, let me see. Let me measure. This is 18. 18. It's about 20 inches. A 20 inch square. So, oh, that's a good amount for, for a dollar. I like that. So they had this pattern and ah, I should have opened them up before I turned the camera on. These are so cute. I cannot get this off. It's like it's glued on here. Oh, I'm making a mess. This is cute. This has like little um Volkswagen. Oh, these are so cute. So summery. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is so cute. Alright, I got that one. I've got this floral one. For a dollar? That's cute. I'm not going to open it. This is black and white plaid. And this one has like berries. I don't know if they're holly berries, but they're, it's a Christmas theme. All right. That is really cute. And I also bought this. I wanted to try it because Beacon is the same company that makes the, I think, Faber, Fabutac, or is it Fabufix? I forgot which one. So this is a um, multi-purpose adhesive spray. And um, when I try it out, I'll let you guys know if it's worth the dollar. Okay. Um, did I finish? Okay, so we, we have trim. Oh, and these little bags, I'm not sure what they called it, you know, like when you're doing a wedding, the little drawstring bags. Well, I got a bunch of them because the, our supply store closed, and I think I got a, I don't know how many I got for like 
two dollars so I'm going to use this and here's my sample now I did one with ledger paper and I made a little tag and I saw this quote and I thought it was so cute and it says moms are like buttons they hold everything together and these are the buttons I just got from the dollar store and this is a vintage ledger page you can see that and then this one is just some um, vintage looking, you know, striped pink. And I just put some sequins and some flower. And I tie just a little bit of the baker's twine um, around that. So I'm going to make a Christmas one. So I have my pattern. And I'm just going to draw on the back of the scrapbooking paper. Just gonna cut it out. Because you have little um, buttons or things in it, you couldn't like write on the back of it. That's the only thing. It's just a cute decorations to stick in your pocket, or you could, um, you know, glue one side here and um, put it, glue it in your journal, and you could use it as a tuck, something like that, or glue both sides here and you could probably put a tag or something make it a pocket and just cut it out and like I said you can make it Christmas um, it, it could be for any occasion um, summer put seeds in it oh that'd be cute you could put like um because I, I like I save a lot of my seeds every year and I put them in like a little um envelope until I start planting but this would be cute to make a little mason jar you would have to seal up the top I, I didn't sew the top of here but you could either glue it and seal it up and you could put seeds in it and you could stick it in like a card for someone and um, that would be kind of cute I think so okay here's my mason jar so I'm just going to basically draw the lines here that are on the mason jar so Like I said, I found a lot of patterns on Pinterest, but my printer has been acting up and I can't make anything smaller on it. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I will draw it. And I'm just going to draw around the edge, just to edge it a little bit, pop it out. You could ink it, like I could take, um, this is tea dyed, you could ink it if you wanted to do that. Or use your pencil or whatever. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the top off of this bag here. And I'm going to cut this in half because I can use the other side for another mason jar. I did forget to bring over the sewing machine, so. All 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is get this off right here. Extra little piece. And I'm just going to put it right where the lid would be um, put on the jar. And I'm just going to fold this over. Now I'm going to use tape just to hold it because I'm going to have to sew around it with the sewing machine and this is very you know slippery so um, I'm going to get some tape and I'm going to bring my sewing machine over and I'll be back okay I'm back so I moved my sewing machine over got a little bit of tape and I'm just going to put it right where the lid would be on the top of the jar and I'm going to just tape it on the back here one more piece that'll help it from moving around too much and bunching up now I hope you can see this good I don't know I wish I had like a, a light here that I could shine on like if I could put this down here, you can see it better. But just have to do the best, best that I can. Now, um, I'm sorry for shaking the camera. I uh, my tripod. I have a really tall tripod, which is kind of wrapped around my chair and everything. So I'll do the best I can without trying to shake the the camera. And I lost my little plate that goes here so this is open I don't like that but it's clear and it <laughs> fell somewhere and I can't find it okay now we get the foot paddle down. there you go okay whoops there I go again all right Do a little back stitch. Kind of doing it slow. I'm just going around the edge, close to the edge. difficult for me to move I might move the sewing machine up here because the wires are all around the tripod so I need my scissors so now if you can see it's um let's see if I can get it really close this is open up the top and I just sewed all the way around. I'm not going to close it up. Uh, should I close it up? No, because I'm going to put a tie around here. I guess you could. Maybe I will put a little bit, a little bit of glue right here afterwards. Um, but you drop your whatever you're going to put inside, and then you're going to take the tape off the back. Okay, and 
we're going to take the scissors and we're just going to go around and trim. Just go around and trim the edge. Okay. And then this here, you don't need. You can leave it on doesn't matter but you don't need it so I'm just gonna just trim off the excess on the back and like I said I would glue this in your book use it either as a pocket that you can slip something down the top here you know like a, a small tag a narrow tag or just glue the one side and the bottom and then use it as a tuck that's what I would do because like I said once you put your little doodads in them you cannot journal on the back let me come back out okay all right so now what are we gonna put in there I got a snowflake I only have one left I'm going to put some pink and green sequins in there. So I'm going to stick my little snowflake in here. Okay, got my snowflake in here. And I did have my pom-pom balls. Did I lose them? Oh, here they are. And I'm just going to drop them in. gonna push them down okay I'm gonna put some pink See what kind of blue we have. Put a few blue ones. Oh, Kessie. I can't get them in. There you go. So can you see this? You got the little snowballs. I wish I had more snowflakes, but I don't. And you have your blue and your pink. So put that one in there. Put my sequins back. Okay. All right. So there's one sequin escaped. Uh, here's two. Just stick it in there. And I'm going to take a little bit of glue. Not much. Some glitter glue. Whoops. And I'm just going to press it down. I am not in the camera. Okay. Then I'm going to take up Baker's Twine, which is pink and white. And I'm going to tie it. And then I'm going to tie it in a bow. Come on. Almost, almost. Ah, I can't get the bow tied. Too small. Ooh. There we go. And 
I'm going to snip it a little too long. The other one. See how cute that is? It is so cute. Oops. I guess my glue didn't dry. Make sure your glue is dry first before you start shaking it. So we have the, the Christmas one. And this could be for spring, summer. This could be great for Mother's Day with the little palm. You could put a little tag or um, just a person's name. You could also use this if you make the Christmas one. Um, you could also uh, use this on a, a gift and, you know, do a tag and just put the person's name on it. Um, that would be cool. Or you could even, even glue this down on a Christmas card. Um, you could put money inside, some money. That would be nice. So, um, yeah, so that's my day 18. Let me scan out so you can see my day 18 little mason jars all right i hope you have a really peaceful restful night and um please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i'm going to be coming out probably tomorrow with two more journals i i'm trying to get these christmas um packages together i have a fabric pack and a christmas um I'm going to lower the price on them because I don't know if I said it in one of my videos that I'm going to be uh, redoing my craft room, my, my studio, and just trying to make more room and get more organized. So if I can get rid of some stuff, that would be great. But you see, like today, I just bought some more stuff, so it's a problem, okay? So like I said, have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.